Good evening, wherever you are joining us from on this live broadcast on Facebook and also on our YouTube page. Please subscribe to our YouTube page and press the like button on our Facebook uh, so that anytime, any day, we are coming up like that. You'll be notified before the time and by the grace of god we are still going to have the afternoon section at 2 p.m today nigeria ghana and nigeria uh, uk time 2 p.m uh by the special grace of god there we used to have deeper you know discussions on issues about spiritual things why some people enjoy Christ better than others why some people are running from pillar to post you know to enjoy what is already there for them as believers the Word of God says this sign shall follow them that believes but we see a lot of people, they are the one running after things that was supposed to be their fringe benefits. It is not supposed to be so. And so many wicked preachers, they, they enjoy this, putting people under them, taking them back into slavery, taking them back to their Egypt, behaving as pharaoh over their lives so today by the grace of god we have this topic to discuss and uh, this topic will also be on our radio broadcasts in, uh, in nigeria abekuta precisely every wednesday uh, 7 30 to 8 o'clock at Rock City FM Radio, 101.90. Please join us if you are, you know, able to get that uh, radio station to listen to this topic and invite more people to join you so that together we can be blessed by it. God loves everybody. He cares for us, provided for everyone. It's not that some people are better than you. 
But there are certain things you need to know to make your life better like others. So we are treating this subject today. Overcomers secrets. What are the secrets of overcomers? It's very simple. Believers in Christ. It's not by our effort. It's not by our own good deeds. It's what Christ has finished on the cross of Calvary. The finished work of Jesus. The blood he shed on the cross of Calvary. Do you know that in some religious setup, they don't believe in the blood of Jesus? The blood of Jesus is an abomination to them. And they parade themselves as, some parade themselves as Christians, some think they are overcomers. You discover that when they are in trouble, they visit people like them. They consult human beings like them for solutions. You can only get temporary solution from people. I want you to open your Bible with me to Revelation chapter 12. And we are reading 11 and 12 verses. It's not going to take much of our time by the grace of God. Overcomer secrets. How can you be an overcomer? How can you attain a level where you can say no shaking, no terror by the night, no nightmare, no evil, no fear? The enemy cannot prevail over your life. How can you be an overcomer? What are the secrets of an overcomer? Or what are the secrets of overcomers so that you also can join them? It's very simple. I read from verse 11, Revelation 12. The Bible says, They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not love their lives in the face of death. Hallelujah. Therefore rejoice, heavens, verse 12, and you who dwell in them, what of the earth and the sea, the devil has come down to you with great fury because he knows he has a short time. The devil knows his boundary, but our life in Christ is unlimited. Our life in Christ, we are not being put in a cage, it's a life of freedom. Freedom over principalities and powers. They overcame. The Bible testified about the people here, the believers in Christ, by the blood, the sacrifice of Jesus. There is no other sacrifice to be made, to be an overcomer. You don't need to slaughter them to be an overcomer. You don't need to burn incense to be an overcomer. You don't need any candle. You don't need any coconut. You don't need any handkerchief. You don't need any man to. You don't need any ribena to drink to replace the blood of Jesus. The blood was already shed once and for all. So it will make you an overcomer any day, any time. And by the words of their testimony, testimony of salvation you can overcome the devil when you show him the testimony of your conversion to christ of your living his territory to the side of the lord you 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 are now your life is now hidden in christ christ in god no one can separate you from his love for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son his only begotten so that whosoever believes in him shall perish. They have everlasting life. God has not created you and I to perish. He has not created us to languish in destruction. We, we, he has not given us the spirit of fear. He has, he has not created us to be running helter-skelter 
you know, looking for what is not missing, what he has given. Salvation is a free gift. According to Jude, verse 3, Jude has only one chapter. It's a common gift to everybody. But what is not common is a life of dedication, a life to contend, contend honestly for that faith. Faith to live above circumstances. Faith to be an overcomer forever, not once a while. The secrets of an overcomer. What are the secrets? So, we have seen here the blood of Jesus. Every day feeding yourself with that blood. Your spirit, soul, and body be soaked in the blood of Jesus. The ultimate power. The power that Jesus went through shame and disgrace. God is not expecting you if you have accepted him as your Lord and personal Savior. To see pass through that shame and disgrace again. He has taken away our sins. He nailed it on the cross of Calvary. You, you are not supposed to enjoy living in sin again. You should not be happy. It shouldn't be what you will enjoy. Sin. Sin in our life is, the, is a mark of the beast. The beast is the devil, Satan. The Bible said he himself knew he has but a short time. Don't let the devil use his short time over you. Once you realize that a sinful nature is the mark of the beast, you don't want to get it. You don't want to go for it. You don't want to bow to it. You don't want to go with the devil. It's a mark to identify people that are following Satan and people that will be destroyed with him on the last day. They will be cast into fire. All the false prophets, all the false preachers, they are all going to, be, to, find, to find themselves in a lake of fire. Don't be perfect. So, secrets of an overcomer. Or overcome secrets. Now we have another reading, another text in uh, Proverbs 20 and verse 5. Don't go for easy, easy things, you know, simple, simple things by hard labor, but trusting in God, believing in Him, whatever you are doing, putting forth, acknowledge God. In all that you are doing, put God first. Let him come first in your life. Having the fear of God. There are little, little things we do that we can do, you know, put them away so that they will not stop the blessing of God following us as God has designed our life to be when we return back to God. Salvation is a, a, a common thing, but a dedicated life, life that will contend for the faith that was given to the saints once, according to Jude, verse 3, chapter 1, verse 3. Now, Proverbs 20, verse 5, let's read. Cancer in a man's heart is deep water, <laughs> but as deep as it is, cancer, how to excel in life, how to be an overcomer. All this while you travel far for counseling. Counseling is not as cheap as you think. Counseling is not what you pay any pastor, any prophet to see for counseling. To, you know, ask what God has in you. For you, you know, for your life, for your breakthrough, for your for you being an overcomer. It's, it's, it is not the right way to see for cancer. So it's not on the surface. It's like a deep water. 
But as deep as it is, deep inside of your heart, deep inside the word of God. The word of God is deep. Because the Bible says God has not made us able ministers of the letter, but of the spirit. The letter killed, but the spirit gives life. You are looking for life. You want to be an overcomer. Life is the promise of God for uh, uh, overcomers. Is it? This day I've played before you life and death. Choose life. Choose life. Once you have chosen life and you follow the steps to life, when we are talking of life, you can talk about greatness. For you to be great, you must have life. Any life outside Christ is not guaranteed. Any life outside Christ will be full of crisis and at the end of the day, one might just slump down and that will be the end. So, cancer in a man's heart is deep water. But a man of understanding. So we need understanding. Many people are confused. They, they, they lack understanding. And that is why they, they believe everything their pastor will be telling them. Whether it's true or not, they cannot go deep into the scripture. They cannot go deep in their in their thinking, in their thoughts, on their, on their bed. Deep water, deep thoughts, deep mind. Because the heart of man is desperately wicked, who can know it? Anybody that is promising you, he want to see vision for you, or that he want to tell you the, the mind of God for you, for your life, is that deceiving you? People, the woman shall die over your life. That was a time I've said it before. I heard about a man organizing a program in, in the city of Abekuta early in the morning. People will be there as early as 6 a.m. People are rushing there. And I, I found it difficult to, to hide it. I approached him. I learned he wasn't there. I got his phone number, I called him, I said, the Holy Spirit said to me that you've been trading with people's destiny. You are not helping them. They call that program Destiny Recovery at NUT in Abeokuta. Thank God I did my own part. As you are listening to the word of God, today I am doing my own part. I cannot force you to believe what I am saying, but I want to encourage you. Cancel in a mask. It's like a deep water, very deep. There was a time Peter and Steve, they, they were on the sea, doing the normal job they, they, they know how to do. And the Bible said, throughout the night, they toiled, they caught nothing. And Jesus came to them, went into their boats as they Give their boat to him. And you can't be in Christ. Your life cannot be in Christ and be a failure. There's no how you can live in Christ and you will not enjoy the benefit of Jesus Christ or benefit of salvation. The common salvation carries benefit. More so when you now go deep. Cancel in a man's heart. It's like a deep water. But as deep as it is, a man of wisdom draws it out. So you need wisdom to be an overcome. You need knowledge of God. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. They didn't perish because they do not have money to give to the prophet to see vision for them. The people you come to church today, pastors, prophets, they are worse than the herbalists. We have we used to have in those days. They are the ones that transform. Because it has been said that Satan 
can transform himself to an angel of light. That is exactly what we are experiencing today. The dark people of the dark world, the demonic people of the dark world, the satanists, they are transforming themselves as pastors and prophets to deceive so many people. Thank God I discussed with this man as I got the telephone number, he quarreled with me. I said, I don't care. I don't care. I spoke on my own. The opportunity might not come again. That was the end of our discussion that day. That man died later on. And his secrets started flying all over the places. What are we saying? What are the secrets? Of the overcomers. How can you be an overcomer? Very simple. You need to come to the blood of Jesus. You need to believe in the blood of Jesus. Before I gave my life to Jesus, the religion I belong to, we don't use the blood of Jesus. And if anybody wants to trespass the boundary in that church, start using the blood of Jesus. You will see what will happen to you. We don't use the name of Jesus alone. And that is the only name whereby we might we can be saved. That's the only name that God has given to us to be saved. No other name, no other, uh, other thing, no alternative to living a victorious life. A life full of joy, not sorrow. A life that will not make you join the people running helter skelter, people traveling for you know kilometers, several kilometers for solution to their problems, and at the end of the day, nothing to show for it. We see women, you know, they go about with their children, they, like the recent one I listened to, you know, a, 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 a woman that has no leg. You see carry the four children to, to meet a pastor for solution to her problem. She only returned with three of the children. The fourth one got missing in the church. She cried. She's been crying. Nothing happened. But what are we saying? How can you personally be an overcomer? I can tell you by the grace of God, since I've Give my life to Jesus. You are, you can't see me running head and scatter looking for solution. So join us this afternoon, 2 p.m. to go deeper into why some people enjoy God better than others. So today, I want us also to read Luke chapter five. And verse 5. Luke 5 5. Who has believed our reports? Thank God when God called me, He told me I should do my part. As I discussed with that world evangelist, He can dance, He can sing. He can put crowd, but it's been trading with people's destiny. Don't let somebody trade with your destiny, please. I beg of you. Five and verse five. Master, Simon replied, we've worked hard all night, working hard all the year. You have worked hard. You have labored so much. But you eat little. The result is very little. Now, Master Simon replied, We've worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But at your word, I will let down the nest. Overcomer secrets. You want to be an overcomer? Respect the word of God. 
Have respect for the word of God. How can you be an overcomer? The Bible says God honored his word more than his name. You need to go deeper in the, revel in the revelation of the word of God. How possible? But that is the word of God. His word is exalted more than his name. If anybody is asking you, shout a particular name seven times. Call in the market 21 times. Call in the Gibraltar 20 times. You are serving Satan. You cannot become an overcomer. Never. Respect the word of God. Find solace in the word of God. Peter toyed throughout the night and his team until they met one on one with Jesus. And he confessed, though I've tried my best, notwithstanding, nevertheless, at your word, I will yield to your word. I will surrender to your word. When you are singing that song, I surrender all. Whom are you surrendering to? Unto thee, my yes, a Savior, I surrender. Well, do you know who Jesus is? Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is the founder of life. Jesus is all in all, is the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus is the beginning and the ending. Why must you not surrender to him? It's not that picture you put in your sitting room or at your altar. That is not the picture of Jesus. At your word, though I've labored throughout the year, nothing to show for it. And the respect I have for your word. Whatever you ask me to do, I am ready to do. Know the scripture. Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't be a supplier of your own resources to one certain man of God. That is getting bigger and bigger every day. That is telling you God is good. Why? From your side, God is bad. Because you didn't know that God. Don't fall into the hands of fake people. There are too many, too many fake people. As a matter of fact, in Nigeria, it's like we do not have any living church. Because um, when we say we have two out of ten, it's like we are not having what percentage is that? Ten percentage is not enough. God cannot find ten percent. If God is demanding for ten percent, not ten percent of your resources at all. Not first fruits of what you have labored for. Jesus was not there to take their first fruits or ten percent of the fishes they have caught. They Toy throughout the night. You have toyed throughout the year. You have toyed through so many years. I was in a religion for 23 years. Nothing to show for it. And they, they, they wanted to deceive me. On occasions, I found meat money under my bed. On two occasions. That couldn't stop. What will separate me from the love of Christ? Don't let anything separate you from the love of the word of God. Jesus is the word of God. You cannot love Jesus and hate the word of God. It's not possible. You cannot separate the word of God from Jesus. If you are putting the word of God under your head or under the... You make it as a pillow to your, to your child, your baby... You are fooling yourself. The word of God is yea and amen. The word of God is powerful, sharper than two-edged sword. 
The word of God is, is Jesus. The word of God is God. The word of God is knowledge. My people perish for lack of knowledge. You want to be an overcomer? Respect, have respect for the word of God. You need testimony of salvation. I also want us to read Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. It gladdened my heart anytime I read the scripture. And don't forget, this is Isaiah vision ministry with a clear vision. Not because we wanted to plant a church that we started. No. Because we have a message that we are delivering to you today. We have been doing this for so many years until Jesus comes. Nobody can stop it. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. Listen to the word of God. To the law and to the testimony. We are going somewhere today. If they do not speak according to this word, there will be no done for them. You want to be an overcomer. <laughs> it's not by running from Pilatus. If any preacher, any prophet, they do not speak according to this word, there will be no better tomorrow for them. <laughs> there will be no light after they are turning. <laughs> there is no future for them. If anybody is preaching or teaching you according to this Bible. Now, let me explain something there that the Holy Spirit has ministered to me. This is revelation. To the law and to the testimony. Don't forget they overcame by the blood and by the, their, the words of their testimony. The blood represents the law. The law demanded for the blood to be shed. And the blood was provided. The blood of Jesus. If anybody is still shedding any blood today, they are still practicing the law. They are going back to their Egypt. The law will take you to testimony. And that is the blood. The blood represents the law. The blood of Jesus is the one that sealed the law. Is the end of the law. The blood of Jesus. After the blood of Jesus, there is no more shedding of the blood. The Bible says in the law, without the shedding of the blood, there cannot be remission. Of sin. If you are suffering because your sins have not been forgiven, because you have not embraced the blood of the Lamb, because you have re refused yourself a testimony. Hallelujah. A testimony of salvation. You have not gotten anywhere. You will continue to run for life. Ignorance. The blood is the one standing to the close of the law. Is the one that sealed the law. Is the one <laughs> that abolished the law. The blood of Jesus abolished the law. With the blood of Jesus, I am no more under condemnation. With the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus wash away my sins. With the blood of Jesus, as I used to do in my former church, my former religion, where I was not born again. Every Sunday we recite, we have sinned against you. Every Sunday, we, we after Sunday, we return back to our vomit. Our sinful nature our, cannot be dealt with. Our sinful nature cannot be taken in. We, we can't do without fornication. We can't do without adultery. We can't do without all this lie lie. And we are lying. That sinful nature remains there. The blood of Jesus 
is the is the end of the law. The blood of Jesus wash away all our past life. The blood of Jesus, it is then you will enter into your testimony. Testimony of victory. Testimony of liberty. Testimony of wonderful Jesus. To the law and the testimony. If any preacher, any pastor, any general overseer, any bishop, if they don't speak according to this word, there shall be no light after the atonement. They have no hope of eternity. They cannot take you to, it cannot promise you eternity. Any bishop, any Jew that cannot tell you about these truths, there is an end to the law. Do you know something? And it used to surprise me. They are telling me about first fruits. Do you know what first fruits is supposed to be? First fruits is to remind us about the people that were converted to Christianity, your first fruit, the souls you first bring to Christ. They are your first fruits. When you are winning souls, the souls you are winning are your fruits, not the money. It's like a farmer that has planted something in his farm. The first fruits that comes out from what he has planted. The same thing with you. If you have been saved and you are now, you know, you have reason to, to save others. Why we are not, we can't win souls today? Because we ourselves, we have no testimony of salvation. And you can only give what you have. Why we refuse to preach the gospel today? Why only people that are preaching the gospel, they are preaching it for their own benefits? Why are they adding, you know, another magic to the blood of Jesus? Why are they not presenting the real gospel to us? Stop running helter skelter. You have toiled throughout the year, you have caught nothing. Even the little you caught, <laughs> your, your pastor has taken them from you through your first fruit, your second fruit, your titan offering, your building offering, everything they've taken away from you. Who born monkey? Who told you you are not a human being? Who told you you are an animal? The law and the testimony. Testimony represents Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. Your testimony. What makes you an overcomer is the finished work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. To the law and the testimony, if they speak not according to the word, it means yes, the spirit of God is not in them. It means they are possessed with another demon, with another gospel, with gospel of destruction, with gospel that will not benefit those that were are listening to them. The law is the old that has been done away with and the testimony is the new life in Christ. New life in Christ. Remember not the former things. Behold, I will do a new thing. Remember not the former things. The former things are in the law. Do not. Don't touch. Don't wear. Don't go. Don't back. Don't this. Do not. This are the law that Jesus has done, the death of Jesus has done away with. He sealed it with his blood. If you have that blood, if you have that blood, you will become an overcomer and you will have testimony. The law is the old that is done away with, and the testimony is the new life we find in Christ. Overcoming life is the testimony. Testimony of overcoming life. The law is a life of bondage and condemnation. The law, that is what the law represents. Don't forget, if any preacher do not let you have understanding, the difference between the law and the testimony is because they do not have the light of God in their so they can't take what they have. 
So as preachers, we have to let you have understanding between the law and the testimony. When we are talking of testimony, we are talking about liberty in Christ. We are talking about the resurrection power. We are talking about a victorious life. We are talking about a life of an overcomer. You know, an overcoming life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 says, Now then. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now. Now represent our new life. Testimony. Life of testimony. Read it. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Now then. Then there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. They that do not walk after the flesh. The flesh represents the law. They that do not walk after the flesh but after the spirit. The spirit represents the life of testimony. How can you be a victor? How can you be an overcomer? I've been telling us the secrets. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb. The blood that was provided, you know, to seal all that has been written in the law. Now, and by the testimony, the words of their testimony. You are supposed to be living a life of testimony. Your life is supposed to be full of testimony. Since I've given my life to Jesus, this is my testimony. No battle has ever over my life. No enemy has ever rejoiced over my life. No demon has ever prevailed over my life. No issue in life, this life and the life to come that will ever prevail over you. If you have this, the blood of Jesus and the testimony of salvation. Hallelujah. So when we are talking of the law, a life of bondage, a life of condemnation that has been done away with when you come to Jesus. The law is flesh. Testimony is freedom. Testimony talks about freedom, joy, victory, and so on and so forth. Life in the law is a life of bondage, a life of slavery. A life of failure, a life of sickness, and a fake life. So you have a choice. Are you in any slavery whatsoever? In any sickness? Are you failing? Is there no hope for you? There's a life of testimony. A life of testimony is a Christ centered life, a life of freedom. A peaceful life. <laughs> life without sickness. <laughs> life that COVID-19 cannot penetrate into. A life of joy. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Many people are missing a lot. You, why will you continue to miss all that has been provided for you? The word of God is Jesus. I've said that the Prince of Peace is the everlasting Father. The Alpha and the Omega. When you know him, not only knowing him, knowing him, the blood is shed and the power of his resurrection. The power of his resurrection. That should be your prayer. Saul turned to Paul, pray the prayer, say that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. How will you know Jesus and the power of his resurrection? and your life remain the same and the enemy will rejoice over you and you will not be victorious in your life by the grace of God this year I am 62 years he has God has never failed me in any way he has never left me he said I will never leave you in a forsake you <laughs> every day every day there is no challenge <laughs> there is no challenge that has ever come my way that I have not overcome, that I have no testimony over. I am an overcomer every day, every hour, every minute, every time. God is good. 
Not because I am special. We are all born again. There is no one that is born again that is not special. Out of the love of God. So I want to encourage you today. There is no other way. Those ways. There is a way seemeth right or good unto man. The end. The end of every issue matters. The end. We justify the means. So, the word of God used to encourage us. The one that has the ear to hear, let him hear. If, if you like, change. If you don't like, God is not forcing anybody. But do you know your end? Do you know how you are going to end? Join us to PM today so that we can go deeper. Because there are some issues we will discuss here that will not go or be allowed over the radio. Yes. On YouTube and Facebook, we can go deeper. God bless you as you have done today. Your life shall never remain the same. A part of God, you come off it over Gori. Because it's a bit of a Gori. For your life, than for your life to be hidden in Christ. For you to live a victorious life. For you to be an overcomer. Any day, any time. For the wicked one not to deal with you as they have promised. Come inside Jesus. They overcame by the blood and by the words of their testimony. God bless you. A testimony is waiting for you. The blood of Jesus is there for you. You embrace it. You come to the light of God. If all the preachers in Nigeria do not speak according to this word and the prophecy and the prophecy's testimony, if they do not speak according to it, because there's no light of God in them, and where there is no light, there will be darkness. Darkness comes everywhere. Cross darkness cover the people. Preachers in Nigeria, they are spreading darkness to cover the eyes of the people. To put them into bondage. People are confused. They don't know they are left with their eyes. But this word is coming to you today. Arise and shine. Thy light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Darkness may cover everywhere. Gross darkness covers the people. But when you come to Jesus, when you have Jesus, when you embrace the blood of Jesus, you will have a testimony. And your life will be full of testimony. Be full of light. Jesus is the light of the world. And that is the choice of God for you and I. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome. Love you. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. For the love you have demonstrated on the cross of Calvary. For the finished work you have done for us. For the victory you have given us. You have never failed. How dare the, we, we are thinking of failure. We can have the same victory you have over the devil. And therefore today, we pray for impartation of your power into the lives of those that have joined us today. Those that will join us this week on radio, even this afternoon, on YouTube, and on Facebook. We shall never remain the same. And on the last day, Father, will not be a castaway. To you, we return the glory. We receive the blessing. Order our steps this week. Direct our paths. Release your spirit upon us. Let the blood of Jesus swallow us up unto victory. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome.